Hi everyone, I just went to the afternoon market and this time I found something that I have never cooked and tasted before. So I'm very excited and let's go and check it out. The fish that I found at the uh, local market, I believe belongs to uh, the brim family. Um, I just Google and uh, the search says that it's a silver brim. I love the patterns found on this fish. It's like um, dark stripes, very silverish in colors, and uh, very nice form and a nice shape. Um, according to uh, what I have researched, um, this is just an average size of the of this fish. It doesn't grow uh, that big. And the lady who sold me this fish say that it's best eaten steamed. So let's make a steam dish out of this fish. Before that, let's start to uh, clean and dry the fish. Okay, first I'm going to scale the fish. Okay, now we will start cutting the fish. So probably I will pick up the gear first. Okay. Alright, now we will clean the fish and then we prepare the fish for steaming. Okay, I'm going to cut just this way to allow the fish to be cooked properly. So this is done. I'm okay, just going to sprinkle some salt. some of the belly okay now we have prepared the fish I will just leave it in the fridge first and prepare the rest of the ingredients for today's cooking First, we're going to cook that sauce that we prepared earlier on just to warm it up over low heat. Alright, this is good enough. And we put this aside. To prepare the fish for steaming, I will just uh, put some spring onion at the base of the plate so to allow the um, fish to be evenly cooked. Next, we're going to put the fish on the plate. Remember to wash away the um, salt from the fish. Right? So do it this way. To be sure to take away the fishy smell, I'm going to put the rest of the uh, spring onion into the belly of the fish. Then the ginger that we have prepared Put some also in the belly. 
I have to use my improvised way of steaming but um, I'm making sure that the pan has enough water and the water is boiling meaning that it's ready for steaming for this size of fish I recommend that we will steam about 8 minutes starting from now Alright, 8 minutes is up and I think the fish is nicely cooked so what I'm going to do is basically I take a new plate and I'm going to transfer the fish over. And not forgetting our sauce, which I will drizzle by the side. I am so excited to try the fish. So This fish is very soft and um, it's actually very oily, fatty, I would say. Hmm. Um, it's very, very fatty. The meat itself is um, smooth. Um, I would say almost like a buttery. Hmm, very interesting. No, a Hong Kong steam style. You will probably like to, if you are someone who love eating parsley and spring onion. It's fantastic to eat together with it. Very nice. Hmm. The more I eat, the more I feel that the fish. It's indeed very buttery and um, definitely it could be used for other style of cooking but eating it, eating, eating it steam give me the chance to find out how the fish tastes originally and I think the lady has made a nice recommendation The drink of today's cooking is this um, Qing Chao Cha um, I think it's a herbal tea and um, I'm going to try it because the weather now in Taiwan is getting warmer it's already uh, summer um, so it's good to cool myself down with this oh, okay, so it's in, indeed a herbal tea very nice, refreshing, not too sweet and um, I think it complements well because it's also helped me to cut the fat oiliness of the fish so I'm going to finish my meal and I will definitely love to eat this fish again well this is my first time trying this fish and I'm kind of surprised by the buttery taste and how fatty the fish is um, I like it 
and I will definitely um, try to uh, buy one again and cook it. So I hope you like this video and meanwhile, stay safe everyone. And I look forward to see you in my next video.